When the Johnson kids were growing up in Thunder Bay, hockey was a big part of their lives and with their father Jim encouraging them to participate in the game that he enjoyed so much. Greg, the oldest, was the first to take his father's advice. And making his way up through the minor system with clubs such as the Elks and Neving, his talents earned a number of awards and an eventual spot on the Ontario North Selects. A standout on the ice, he got his first taste of national competition at the 1988 Air Canada Cup, winning a bronze medal with the Thunder Bay Bearcats AAA Midgets. Advancing to the junior ranks, he continued on with his award-winning style as a center ice performer with the Thunder Bay Flyers. He helped the Flyers claim their first ever Canadian Junior A championship title for Northwestern Ontario. Named the All-Star Center for that tournament, he capped off the season by being named the 1989 Canadian Junior A Player of the Year. Now with such a great season behind him, Philadelphia selected him as their first choice in the 1989 entry draft, going 33rd overall. And having just recently graduated from high school, Greg decided to make the decision to follow the academic route and accepted a scholarship to the University of North Dakota. And his four years with the Fighting Sioux saw him lead the WCHA in assists for two seasons, claim three WCHA first-team All-Star selections, and earn a place on the NCAA West first All-American team in 1991 and 93, and also the second team in 1992. A three-time Hobie Baker Award finalist, he was named the 1993 University of North Dakota Male Athlete of the Year, and also set the stage for his younger brothers Corey and Ryan, who followed in his footsteps going on to attend UND. While at North Dakota, he was selected to represent Canada at the 1991 World Junior Championships in Saskatoon, where his four goals contributed to the team's memorable gold medal performance. And this would be the first of three opportunities he would have to represent his country, going on to play in the 1993 World Championships and the following year added to the roster of the 1994 Canadian Olympic hockey team. Underdogs going into the games in Lillehammer, his three assists over eight games helped Canada advance to the finals against Sweden. He returned home from the games with a silver medal, along with a broken nose and multiple stitches. Having been traded from the Flyers to Detroit in 1993, it was with the Red Wings that he would make his professional debut, and what a debut it was. He netted a goal in his first game. Enjoying a solid rookie season, he helped Detroit finish first in the Central Division, and enjoying two more seasons with the team, he made stops in Pittsburgh and Chicago before being claimed by the Nashville Predators in the 1998 expansion draft. A strong center ice performer with the Predators, he remained with that club for eight seasons and regarded as one of the foundation pieces of that organization, being referred to by the club's general manager, David Poyle, as being a solid player and a solid person. Being only the second player in club history to don the sea, he was named captain of the team in 2002 and instrumental in helping the club clinch its first ever playoff berth in 2003-2004. Signed as a free agent by Detroit in the summer of 2006, he chose to retire from the pro ranks, having enjoyed a 12-season NHL career, which included a regular season record of 785 games played with 125 goals and 224 assists. Considered a clever playmaker with good speed and overall hockey sense all throughout his career, this outstanding hockey player truly left his mark on the game at all levels having enjoyed success in the minor, junior, collegiate, international and professional ranks.